Hey, this is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm going to show you a Smith Corona Classic 12. This is a 1969 and it gets its name Classic 12 from the 12 inch carriage on this typewriter, which the longer carriages come in handy in case you have different kinds of projects you're working on that require larger papers. So you can do landscape portrait excuse me 11 by 14 anything like that so let's start from the back and work our way forward and then i'll actually type on it and show you how this one works so this is the original gray color on this one and it it looks really nice it's in excellent condition the keyboard has yellowed significantly um but you know for something that's 51 years old this looks pretty good okay so here is your paper holder keeps the paper from flopping over to set your margins you just press and drag these tabs at the top okay way over here is a paper guide that just comes in handy for loading your paper you can bring it all the way in if you're using envelopes or postcards especially if you're doing a multi-page project using the paper guide will keep your margins consistent okay so to move this is called your carriage and your paper is going to go right in here in this groove now to move the carriage when you're not typing you there's a lever behind each of these handles on each side and you just pull that forward while holding on to the carriage because the, there's tension and the carriage is going to want to pull and you just you can go back and forth. Now the carriage will move only as far as you have the margins set. So keep that in mind. Also, when you get to the end of your margin, you're gonna hear your bell, and the bell does work on this one. Um, and then when you hit your margin, the typewriter is gonna completely stop. Some people don't realize this. And there's nothing wrong with your typewriter. You just need to hit your margin release, which is this button right here. It says MR. You hit that, and now you can keep going. Oops. Hold on, let's do that again. There we go. This is an all manual typewriter. However, it also happens to have a half space, regular space, and a power space on it, even though it's a manual. Okay, right here on the right side, this lever, when you pull it forward, it releases the, it moves this bar, metal bar down here that looks like a ruler, and it releases the tension on the paper, and that way you can adjust your paper if it's crooked. Over here on the left side is, you'll see a one, two, three, and that is your line selector, because when you hit your return handle, it's gonna advance either one, two, or three lines. Now, way down here, you can barely even see it, and you probably wouldn't even notice it if I didn't point it out, is a little metal lever. Now, before I show you what that does, when you turn the handle on the roller, you can hear it click. Okay, It clicks every half of a line. But let's say you're filling out a form, or you're using lined paper, this typewriter's not going to necessarily line up properly with what you have, what you're working on. So you flip that little lever down and it releases the roller. It makes it free so that you can line it up just right. Just make sure you re-engage that before you start typing again or else it's just not going to um, advance properly. Okay, let's move this to the left and open up the top and inside you're gonna see the ribbon. We've installed a universal ribbon for you. It's a two-tone black and red ribbon and it fits most typewriters. You just put it, it just literally drops right in there. There's a little pin um, that you kind of have to wiggle your um, spool onto one of the holes into that pin on either side and then make sure it's threaded properly through those guide wires. I do have an up close image of this on the product listing and you'll find that link in the description below. Please use that as a reference. It'll be there whether the product is sold or not. Um, now keep in mind black is on top, red is on bottom and then this is so important. Please do not tune me out here drop everything that you're doing and pay attention. This ribbon on here is actually short. However, the, there is a lot of 
ink on here. So when you get to the end of your spool, this typewriter is probably just going to stop or lock up or the font's going to get really faint or it's just going to feel, all of a sudden when you type, it's not going to feel right. Anything like that happens, you need to immediately stop typing, open this up, and then reverse the direction of your ribbon. And you do that with this little lever right here. And it's such a tiny movement, but you'll hear the click and you just reverse the direction back and forth, back and forth. You're going to reverse the direction of this ribbon. I, I use these ribbons. I probably reverse the direction of them 50 times before I need to change my ribbon. So this is going to last you a long time, but you need to keep in mind that that any time your typewriter starts acting weird, it's because almost because you need to change your ribbon, change the direction of your ribbon, or make sure that it's threaded through the guide wire. So LMH means, um, I guess, light, medium, hard, something like that. So it's just personal preference. I personally don't really find much of a difference. Here's your tab. You press that to tab. Set is here, clear is here, um, and then your color selector is over here on the right side. I already showed you the space bar. Let's go ahead and load a piece of paper and do a typing demo. Okay, so I am going to bring my margins in because I like narrow margins for typing demos. And then what you do is you just put your paper kind of close to that guide wire. Um, the paper guide over there. I don't push it up real close because as you thread it, sometimes it kind of gets caught in that guide. Um, so I just kind of put it close to it and set it there. You don't need to shove it down and then turn the handle and that roller will grab it right away and bring it around. Make sure you pull up this bar and put the paper underneath the bar and you'll see, oh, and I like to bring it up halfway to make sure I've threaded it correctly and I have, it's completely even, yay. Um, but let's say it was crooked. Then what you would do is come over to your paper release, pull that forward. You could adjust your paper easily. Um, I'm gonna put it back and then just release that. Okay, let's go ahead and start our typing demo. So this is a 1969. Smith Corona Classic 12. All right, let's check everything out here. I haven't seen, I don't know where the tabs are set. Let's see. Oh, it's way over. Let's see if we can set one maybe right here. Um, whoops. So this looks really good. Well, if you hit two keys at once, that's what happens. And oh, I guess I should have, let me do that again. Hit two at once, then this little key over here, if you hit that, that brings them back down or you can just tap them, whatever you want. And then this is your backspace, because I got it, it advanced, and I want to backspace my carriage, and then I can keep going. So this is typing very well. I'm, I'm so impressed. I'm Classic 12s have to be one of my favorite manual typewriters, especially for beginners. Um, they just type very, they're just very easy to use. Now, um, the space bar, on, I shouldn't talk, I should just type, and then I'll tell you what I'm thinking. Um, the quick brown fox.
Whoops, backspace. So when you make a mistake, you just backspace. Lazy dog. That's right, lazy dog. When you backspace, when you make a mistake, just backspace and type over it, X through it, line through it, whatever you need to do. Let's try the red ribbon. There's that margin. I'm going to keep going so I can show you what to do all through the house. Okay, so now you'll see it's completely stopped because I'm at the very end of my margin. The bell tells you, hey, you only have a few characters left. And um, if you keep going, this is what's going to happen. So now if you hit margin release, oops, I hit multiple keys there. Creature. Was uh, no. Okay, so this types extremely well. The only thing is uh, the space bar is just a little stiff um, compared to some of the other typewriters. It still works, but it's, it's a little stiff. Um, but it types very well. This is going to be excellent for beginners. Um, just a solid working typewriter at a great price point. So if you want to see more information and more photos for this particular typewriter, go visit the link in our description below. Thanks so much for watching. You'll have a blessed day.